You know I always say that bacon is one of my favorite food groups, right? Well, I am not kidding, and I use it all the time. Check out some of my favorite bacon-based videos right here, right now. Today I'm making something that's really simple with very few ingredients. It's a bit of a variation on macaroni and cheese, but instead of using like elbow macaroni, I'm using tortellini. It's tortellini with bacon, and it's baked together until it's bubbly and delicious. So start off by dicing up an onion. Now this is kind of a biggish onion. The recipe calls for a small, so I'm only gonna use half. And then it says to dice it medium, but I always dice everything really small, especially when I'm making bechamel. So if you can mince it, that's what I would do. You'll also need one clove of garlic. If you wanted to use your garlic press here, that would be good. I often do. I already have four slices of bacon cooking and they seem like they're just about ready, so I'm gonna take them out of the pan. Bacon is crisped up and there's some fat in the pan, which I'm gonna leave in there because I wanna cook my onion and garlic right in that pan. To your pan, add the onion and garlic and cook that until the onion is translucent. I like to season my onions starts pulling the moisture out, the salt in any case, and then pepper, obviously, just add flavor. So a little salt and pepper. Add a tablespoon of flour. This will thicken the sauce slightly. Then stir in two cups of milk. I'm gonna do a little bit and then I'll do a little bit more. This will get up all the flour. And then the rest. In order to fully activate the flour and let it actually thicken the milk, the mixture needs to come to a boil, and then you can add your tortellini directly into this pan. Now that it's come to a simmer, add the tortellini. This is a pound of tortellini, and then you just simmer your tortellini right in the sauce. It needs to simmer for about four minutes before you put the bacon back in and then add some cheese. So it's really thickened up and the tortellini are cooked through. You can add cheese. This is a half a cup. I'm adding a quarter into the sauce and then a quarter can go on top. The bacon can also go in. You could sprinkle the bacon on top if you wanted it to stay super crispy or mix it in. It's up to you. Have your oven preheated to broiler. Scrape out all the goodness into the pan. Don't leave it behind. Then sprinkle the rest of the cheese, another quarter cup over the top. And then just pop this into the broiler about three to five minutes, depending on the heat of your broiler. That's it. Really fast. You can make this ahead if you want to, and then just pop it under the broiler in the oven to reheat for a little while. But it's so fast, I don't even really feel like you need to, right? Isn't that the best? It's a great cozy winter weeknight meal from me to you. Today I'm making what I like to think of as a breakfast bruschetta. It's a garlic rub toast topped with sauteed mushrooms, scrambled eggs, bacon, and a tiny bit of tarragon. So fantastic. I'm rubbing some rustic bread toast with a little bit of garlic. Just like to get my toasts out of the way so they're ready to top when everything is warm. You can set them aside while you get your mushrooms ready. You need about four cups of sliced mushrooms for four servings. It's sort of a loose recipe, so don't worry too much about it. Use a mixture of whatever you can find. I have oyster, shiitake, maitake, even plain white button mushrooms would be so delicious here. Make eight scrambled eggs. Make sure that you have started off by cooking some bacon because this is also going to have bacon. Whisk your eggs, get them nice and fluffy. We'll need some salt and pepper. And then the final touch is gonna be a little bit of chopped fresh tarragon. I find it to be quite a strong flavor, so I just like to put in like half a teaspoon. I think it adds nice aroma and flavor without being overwhelming. Once your bacon is cooked, you're gonna to wanna to saute your mushrooms in some of the bacon fat. My favorite smell. There's about a teaspoon or so of fat in there. I think that's a good amount to saute my mushrooms, so I'm gonna just add them. I like to just scoop my mushrooms right onto my toasts. This looks good already. Scramble your eggs, add them in. I like to cook stirring constantly for my scrambled eggs and stop cooking long before you think that they're gonna be done. 
because what happens with the eggs is they continue cooking and if you let them cook, they'll be overcooked when you wanna eat them. Cook them over a medium heat for a nice creamy result. Just before they're completely, completely set, add a half a cup of ricotta, fold it in. The ricotta adds a nice extra layer of creaminess for creamy egg lovers and then serve immediately on top of your mushrooms. This is like breakfast fit for a queen. Little sprinkle of tarragon. And then on top, a little bit of bacon. If you want a great snack, make these bacon wrap dates. A delicious and super easy, take a date. This date has already been pitted and put a blanched almond in the center. You could use a pistachio too if you wanted to. And if you wanted to go really crazy, you could slice a little piece of dried apricot and put that in there too. Wrap it with one third of a slice of bacon and then just place it seam side down on a broiler pan or right now I'm just using a small sheet pan with a rack on it. Have your broiler preheating. Pop these into the broiler and then cook them for about three to five minutes. They should be starting to get like bubbly and golden brown and then flip them over and cook them until the bacon is completely crisp and golden brown, another three to five minutes. I know, I know, they're not beautiful, but they are so good. They're completely addictive. It's like bacon candy. Make one, maybe two, maybe even three batches of this for the next time you invite friends over. And let me know what your favorite recipe is to make as a snack. It might just be this one. Today for breakfast, why not try a bacon and egg huevos ranchero wrap? It's gonna be delicious. Start off by cooking some bacon and leave a little bit of the bacon fat in the pan. Fried egg. You're gonna wanna warm up some flour tortillas for this. You can do that in the oven if you want to. Just wrap them up in a little bit of foil and put them into a 350 degree oven for a few minutes. I like to cut little tiny holes right near where the yolk and the white meat to allow some of that egg white to sort of run in there and cook. Then carefully slide a very thin spatula underneath your egg, making sure to get it fully underneath the yolk and then flip it over. I think the important part in that is having the yolk supported so that it doesn't slide off and then break. And I just turn it off. It's basically done. Grab a plate and a tortilla. These are flour tortillas. They're nice and pliable and they're a little bit bigger than your corn tortillas. Some warm refried beans. Don't tell anybody, but I used the can and I just heated it up with a little bit of garlic. You can make them from scratch. That's certainly gonna be more delicious, but time consuming. One or two eggs. What do you think, two eggs? Why not? Maybe I'll eat my wrap open-faced. <laughs> Not really a wrap anymore then, is it? Over here I have avocado. No good wrap would be complete without some avocado. <laughs> no good egg dish would be complete without some avocado. Amounts are up to you. I'm going for a little bit of excess today. Piece of bacon, maybe I'll crumble it a little bit. That way I get better distribution. And of course, some hot sauce. You could definitely use some salsa here, but I'm just gonna go for a bottled sauce. Habanero is one of my faves. And that's it. That's a fantastic breakfast, a great way to serve fried eggs.